Okay. Hello, Printmakers! Woo! Um, <laughs> welcome again. We are working on drawing your entire plate. Uh, so we have a collage underneath of this, uh, this piece of a Kua uh, printmaking plate. Um, you can see the materials are the etching or dry point needle or scribe. And then you can see some tape holding both the collage down and then the um, the Akua plate down. And we are working on top of a piece of cardboard or cardstock. All righty. So before we got started, we also cleaned ourselves to the surface. I just want to emphasize that this isn't taking up a lot of space. So your at-home studio doesn't have to be huge. It can be a small portion of a table, et cetera, or just a desk. Um, or space in your kitchen counter. Um, studio space, it doesn't have to be huge to be productive. Um, we've also prepared a drawing or collage to guide us. In this image, I've collaged a few different images from a few magazines and layered them over top of each other to act as our guide for scribing on top of our plate. Um, either you can do a handmade drawing and lay it underneath the clear plate and trace over it. Another reminder is it will be reversed. Um, so if you were writing text, um, be sure to write it backwards. Um, so yeah, text will be drawn backwards, the image will be printed in reverse. So if you're set on your figure, like in our image facing the right, you'll want to flip that over in a different direction, either by drawing it a different way or scanning it and flipping it so it turns out the correct direction and orientation for you. Thank you, Brad. Um, Make sure you place the clear printmaking plate. Uh, we use, again, the Akua plates, but a plexiglass plate will suffice. Uh, and you put it on top of the image and tape it down with a flat surface. Um, as Brett said, you could use any space for your post-studio practice. Um, you know, you could even do this inside a sketchbook. Uh, just make sure that that plexiglass plate is secured, taped down to your sketchbook page so that um, it doesn't shift around while you're doing this. Uh, th this video is sped up and it looks like it's only 25 seconds, hmm. but Brett and I are switching back and forth. You can see my hairy arm there doing some of the work. Um, and then we switch back to Brett uh, and then we switch back to me. Uh, and it took the two of us, uh, I would say about close to an hour, 45 minutes, switching back and forth every 10 to 15 minutes uh, to get this entire image done. This is hard work doing this drawing. Um, so make sure you give yourself that space. As Sam said, you're gonna be using the scribe, firmly pressing into the plastic to get different marks or the plexiglass to get different marks. So you're scoring the surface. Um, like you said, it took us 45 minutes and that was a lot of alternating back and forth, largely due to the fact that your hand would start to cramp or get tired. Um, so be gentle with yourself and allow yourself breaks. Another note is that intaglio is a positive process, meaning the lines that you scribe into the plate are gonna be the darks of the image. So if you're inking it in black ink, those lines that you can see on the plate in this video that are light or catching the light are the things that are gonna show up being dark, that dark black line that you're putting on there if you're printing in black ink. Um, another quick note is using a variety of different marks. Um, as you can see, to separate the differences in objects, say the foreground, or the jacket in this image, or the glasses, or the background. We're exploring a bunch of different drawing techniques, such as cross-hatching, squircles, little lines for like grass texture, et cetera. So figuring out different lines to create contrast in your image beyond just the quantity. Um, I'm just gonna restart the image again. Drawing a block will take time again, and it is important to give yourself breaks. In this video, uh, Brett and I alternated again, as he said, on the block as a form of collaboration, uh, but also to give our hands a rest. Your hand just gets tired, um, you know, because we were just working on a small range of motion. Uh, this process is very physically taxing. We'll make sure that you are giving yourself time to work for a little while and give yourself a break. Uh, the Pomodoro technique, you'd probably need more than five minutes time or three minutes time in between. Um, in between drawing, so you might need to do like uh, 20, 10, uh, 20 minutes of drawing, 10 minutes of break time while you're working on this. I know that sounds insane uh, that you might take an hour and a half to two hours to finish a drawing on a plexiglass plate or an Akua uh, uh, plate, but 
please give yourself the, the breaks um, when your hand starts to cramp up or your arm gets uh, tired from this. If you, while you're scribing this, you, there are parts of this that look like they are um, like darker areas of the, the plate. When we pull the plate to the side, you can kind of see that um, those little like real dark areas, that is where we've made a scratch and in the surface of the plate, as we've made the scratch, there's an there's raised surfaces. So they look like little hooks if you're looking at it at a microscopic level. When you're printing, this is gonna act as something that makes little uh, indentations on your paper. So when you're pulling it up, just be very careful to pull it up so that your paper doesn't get attached into that, into that space, right? So you have to make sure that you slowly and carefully bring it up, but it's not like shifting or retouching down. And so you can see those like little darker white spaces here on a plexiglass plate. When you're working with a metal plate, you also get these same problems. Uh, a plexiglass plate or a Kua plate is what we recommend for this process, um, just because it gives you a greater ability to work with a, a drawing uh, that you can put underneath. You can see right through them, okay? and th those become very important and uh, great tools for printmakers. Yeah, like Sam said, um, this is a great time, like we did in the image that you can see, to lay that plexiglass plate either onto a dark piece of paper or a piece of cardboard, um, just to double check how your drawing has come along and make any additional marks prior to printing. Um, just to make sure that plate is all set as you move into the following and upcoming steps. All right, printmakers, thanks again for tuning in. We really appreciate your time and uh, best of luck. Dan, if you have any questions, please schedule a meeting with Brett and I. Uh, send us an email. We'll be happy to answer all your questions. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.